two tracks left, and one of them is Tahiti Maze, and then once we have done that, we can move onwards to our final track, which will officially be Autumn Ring. So, time to head back up to the course license and get on with our penultimate license of this game, and where the car we are driving is the Mitsubishi ZZ. CZ3 Tarmac Rally Car. Don't need the pace car, obviously. I know my way around both versions of the track relatively well, and these are our target times. So we need a 2 minutes 23 for a bronze, 2 minutes and 7 seconds for a silver, and a minute and 57 seconds for a gold. Okay, let's do this. I think it's fair to say this car is clearly not made for the dirt. It's only really made for dicks in the tarmac. And that's probably what this thing is made for. It's not made for dirt. It's made for tarmac, clearly. Because it has tarmac in the title. Honestly, I really don't care if this lap is good enough for a gold or not. But the only thing I really do care about is trying to see if I can at least manage to set myself a lap time that's good enough to at least be close to the gold. Or closer to the gold than it was. I think that's my only real concern. Just trying to see if I can at least manage to make some strides for improvement, maybe. Oh, here goes nothing. Is it going to be good enough for a gold or not? Oh, okay! Literally only the second lap I set in basically this entire fucking course, and it's literally taken me up to now to just set the gold. Fuck me. I did not expect that to happen. Literally, the- literally just the second lap I'd set. All license long. Or all day long, I should say. And somehow, it was good enough for a gold. Really didn't know if I was actually going to get it right this time, but lo and behold, in the end, I did. So, for achieving the bronze, this looks like a Daihatsu Kopen, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah, a Daihatsu Kopen. For the bronze, and for achieving the gold, we get... What do you know? The Toyota RSC Rally Car this time. What a surprise. That is wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. So, the Daihatsu Kopen is what we get for a bronze in the license, and for achieving the gold, we get the Toyota RSC rally car. 
sponsored by Castrol. So let's now get on with the racing. So putting the ace difficulty back on again because well it's another day obviously. And let's do it. And well cars have I not used up to this point. No. You know what? I might just use I might just use the Mitsubishi again, just because it's one car I've not used yet. Yeah, let's just use the Mitsubishi again, because this is one model I've not used yet in this game. And we are up against the Toyota RSC again. Well, anyways, here we go. Two laps around Tahiti May's reverse. This, I am pretty sure, is going to be an easy win because I knew very well this is going to be piss easy and I am just going to dominate this race because it is the normal level of races we can do here. Three point four seconds is now already the margin I lead this race by. And already heading down the hill. Honestly, I wasn't sure in knowing, of course, if I would manage to get myself to the Golden License, but then, obviously, once I did, it's pretty much become smooth sailing. Even though, in terms of attempts, the Swiss Alps reverse course was probably just a little harder than this one, but. Thankfully, I do not have to worry about setting any target times, which technically means I can just focus on my own race. But also try not to spin the car, because, well, spinning around constantly is not what I call fun, unless it's after I've crossed the finish line, then it might be fun. But you know, you know, you know. 9.0 seconds is now the margin which I lead this race by, and appears as though everything is going to be okay from here, as which I am already going out and dominating this thing as it currently stands. I don't really think the Toyota is going to catch me from here, since it's already a 10.6 second margin from here, in terms of what the interval is. I'm quite sure this will probably be a race which I will have once again dominated, and spinning around, and that's a wall. Shifting up into second, so I do not have a repeated spin. And luckily for me, at least, I do not have to worry about beating any target times, so I can basically spin around all I want. Even though I still need to win the race first before I can do that. Celebrating the donuts in Victory Lane. It is what I guess you could call it. So 
So getting through the final corner now, clipping the wall, and I'm going to spin around anyway. To victory. And I just chose to do that because... Well... Oh, that's weird. I'm pretty sure I didn't drive the Toyota. That's got to be a glitch or something. I don't know what that's all about, really. I'm going to assume that's just a glitch. But I'm pretty sure I was not driving the Toyota. Oh well. Let's move on to the prize car, and for winning the normal race, we get... Is this the Toyota Pod? It is the Toyota Pod. I have a feeling there will definitely be room to squeeze this thing in before I do the credits. So, one car left. Although first off, we get the Toyota Pod. Look at how cute this thing is. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the first ever concept car to have emojis. Or at least I heard that from an unofficial source. If that makes any sense. Anyways. Let's now move onwards to the... Professional difficulty and uh, mm, you know what? Let's use the Hyundai again, just because this is the uh, only car in this garage that I've not used for a race yet. So yeah, let's do that. Using the Hyundai accent. For the professional race at oh, I think it just brake tested me. No, 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 no. Around the outside, trying to take the lead. He still slots himself in ahead of me, but I'm on the outside. I have the stronger straight line speed, and he just darts around the outside attempting to cover me off, but to no avail. I now take the lead, and I already have half a second in terms of the interval. Half a second is now the interval to my fellow Hyundai. Of course, I chose this car because, well, it's the only one of the rally cars I've not raced yet. And I also chose this thing because, well, I wanted to. And this thing has definitely got more acceleration and speed compared to the Mitsubishi. I was driving before. So yeah, this thing has definitely got more acceleration and speed. And this thing also handles better. Which is another thing I should note. And this thing is also sharper compared to what the uh, Mitsubishi was. At least I can say this thing is sharper in comparison, don't you know? I had to drive the forward course in this thing as well. I figured it was only appropriate for me to put this thing on the other side of the crockery. though I'm pretty sure I will end up sweeping the races anyway, because, well, that's just how easy racing in this game is for most of the races I do.
13.2 seconds is now the interval, so... It's fair to say... I am slowly but surely... slipping away from my fellow Hyundai. I also like how for this game they literally, you know, decided to do all of the detailing. Oh, and my frames are dropping. Well, I'm going to have to check this afterwards, but... As hard as it might be on my computer, it's said uh, frames or something. Although, I'm just hopeful in saying the quality is not dropping. Anyways, through the final corner we go, and to beginning what is now the final lap here in the professional race. I am slowly but surely slipping away from the other Hyundai up to this point. As of which I now have a 21 second interval. I really do hope whatever is happening with my laptop at the moment is not anything serious. So, heading into the final sector now of the lap or Sector 3 I think this is, before we head into Sector 4. And... 24 and a half seconds is what I now have. I'm pretty sure it will be larger than that as long as I don't spin the car around. Keeping everything going here. And 27 seconds is now the margin. And now we wait. We wait to see how long it is before the other one finishes. There he is. And in the end, I won by 31 and a quarter seconds over my fellow Hyundai. So, haha! I am the superior Hyundai. At least in this race. And we get another prize car, and. Away we go to Seeging our next prize car, and what is it going to be? A Mercedes SL55 AMG. Nice. So, that's all of the unlockables we can obtain, and this thing has a plethora of colours which we can choose from. Got some interesting ones here. Also furthermore, I do like that red interior. I think that interior looks very stylish. Yeah, I do like the red interior. That really does look stylish. Anyways, that's all of the prize cars obtained, and now we move onwards to the Ace Race. And 
what car am I going to use? Well, there's one dream car I've not used yet, and that is the Honda, so I think you know where this is going. Yes, we are now going to use the Honda Integra LM Edition, and apparently that's who we're up against. Which is pretty surprising, and this thing revs up to 11,000 RPM. Those are some revs. I'm also pretty sure I will probably be spinning the tires a lot. If I go below third gear. So, it's basically a one-on-one. -on -one is what this race is. Trying to see who will emerge victorious in the end. He breaks early, I'm not prepared to... Oh, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. And already a 1.6 second interval. And this thing is, of course, two-wheel drive. Having to shift down into second gear because it's the only way I can get the acceleration out of the corners. And the dust is blinding me just a little bit. I cannot see where it is I am going. Diving down the inside and taking the lead. And up to the front I go. swerving left and right at the moment because I'm not able to get a hold of this thing as it currently stands. I am definitely struggling at the moment. Even though I am at least trying to see if I can keep a hold of this thing. And thankfully for me at the moment I am managing to control this thing. And keeping this thing under control as we now begin. Lap 2. We've already got a 3.3 second interval now to my fellow Integra. It appears as though this probably will end up being another domination run once we've really got going. Even though I'm still not sure in knowing, of course, if third gear is really the best gear selection to have when going through the corners. That's one thing I tend to struggle with, if that makes any sense. And at least managing to keep everything in check. And still three seconds at the moment, so looks as though there is no separation between us at the moment terms of knowing if the margin will decrease or increase at the present time. And it doesn't look as though the lap times are going to be under two minutes, at least I don't think there will be any sub two minute times set in this race. shifting down into first because, well, that would be stupid, and of course I easily prefer not to do that. It doesn't look as though my lap times are going to be sub two minutes. And 
keeping everything in check as it currently stands. And it appears as though I am now starting to pull away from the... Integra Type R as it currently stands. On to the penultimate lap here at Tahiti Maze, as of which it is only four laps overall because, well, this is the longest course in the game, essentially. And still getting wheel spin every so often, as we now down what I suppose you could call the back stretch down the hill into these two consecutive hairpins and keeping everything in check as it currently stands I now lead this thing by 8 seconds. So, apparent as it might be, I am pulling away with the lead, even though this thing is clearly not made for rallying, although somehow, in a way, I suppose you could say it is for one reason or another. In a very weird and ironically complex situation I guess you could call this anyways final lap I'm really not sure in knowing if Honda either has or hasn't entered the WRC but I'm pretty sure the Integra would not be the sort of car they would want to use to enter the WRC because I don't necessarily think this thing would be competitive enough to uh, compete against the likes of the uh, Toyota Yaris, the Ford Fiesta or the Hyundai i30 Though I suppose if there would be any car Honda would want to enter in the WRC, it would probably have to be the Honda Civic, but I don't think that's a likelihood. Even though it wouldn't surprise me, of course, if Honda were planning on entering NASCAR, just to maybe give some equality towards Toyota, because obviously, you know, both of them are Japanese brands, and essentially, in a way, Okay, it's still taping. It has not lost anything yet. Or not anything severe. And until I can manage to afford to buy a base unit, I really don't think there's going to be anything for me to use in terms of actually trying to see if I can make my video quality any better than it currently is. And through the final corner, and easy win. The orange Integra beats the red Integra. And one by 13 seconds in the end. Alrighty then, so that now leaves us with one circuit left, and that circuit is Autumn Ring Reverse. And no other prize cars obviously, because well, I've already won all those, and yeah, I do have a replay saved, and now, let's move on, and save the game.
So, there we go. And that now means we have just one circuit left, Autumn Ring Reverse. Which will be coming up next, but before we do that, we shall need to save the game. Okie dokie, one circuit left.